Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe it for the daily videos. What is walking pneumonia? Walking pneumonia is a bacterial infection that affects your upper and lower respiratory tract. It is also called atypical pneumonia because it's usually not as severe as other types of pneumonia. It does not cause symptoms that require bed rest or hospitalization. It might just feel like a common cold and can go unnoticed as pneumonia. Most people are able to carry on with their daily lives. What are the symptoms of walking pneumonia? The symptoms of walking pneumonia are typically mild and look like the common cold. Sore throat, inflammation in the windpipe and its main branches, persistent cough, especially dry, headache, symptoms that last longer than a week may be a sign of walking pneumonia. Other symptoms that may include chills, flu-like symptoms, rapid breathing, wheezing, labored breathing, chest pain, abdominal pain, vomiting, loss of appetite. What are the types of walking pneumonia? Walking pneumonia is commonly brought home by children from the school. Families who contract the infection will show the symptoms 2 to 3 weeks later. There are three types of bacteria that cause walking pneumonia. Mycoplasma pneumonia, Chlamydial pneumonia, Legionella pneumonia or Legionnaire's disease. What increases your risk factors for walking pneumonia? Like pneumonia, the risk for developing walking pneumonia is higher if you are over age of 65 years old, 2 years old or younger, ill or have impaired immunity, a long-term user of immunosuppressant drugs, living with a respiratory condition such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, someone who uses inhaled corticosteroids for long period of time, someone who smokes tobacco. How will your doctor diagnose this condition? A chest x-ray, perform a physical examination, ask about your overall health and medical history, ask about your symptoms, conduct other tests to diagnose for pneumonia. Some laboratory tests used to diagnose pneumonia include a culture of mucus from your lungs which is called sputum, a sputum gram stain study, a throat swab, a complete blood count, test for specific antigens or antibodies, blood culture. How do you treat walking pneumonia? Home treatment. Pneumonia is often treated at home. Here are some steps you can take to manage your recovery. Home care tips include reduce fever by taking acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Avoid cough suppressant medicine as it may make it harder to make your cough productive. Drink loads of water and other fluids. Get as much as rest possible. Walking pneumonia is contagious when infected. A person can typically only infect other during the 10th day period of when his or her symptoms are most severe. Medical treatment. Antibiotics are generally prescribed based on the type of bacterium that causing your pneumonia. You can generally recover from atypical pneumonia on your own. Your doctor will prescribe antibiotic therapy only if you have bacterial pneumonia. Be sure to take all the medication for the full length even if you feel better before you have taken it all. Hospitalization Some patients with atypical pneumonia, severe atypical pneumonia due to Legionella pneumophilia require hospitalization for antibiotic therapy and support. You may also need to stay at the hospital if you belong in one of the high risk groups. During your stay at the hospital, you may receive antibiotic therapy, intravenous fluid and respiratory therapy if you have trouble breathing. How do you prevent walking pneumonia? Good hygiene habits, wash your hands before touching your face and handling food, cough or sneeze into tissues and throw those out right away, avoid sharing food, utensils and cups, use hand sanitizer if soap and water are not available. Thank you all, have a nice day.